everybody, welcome back to the Seesaw and Saturday again. I've been to Aldi and Sainsbury's today, but there's a bit of a story behind the grocery shop today. So just because my weeks have been so busy, I and with all the mask thing being in effect now, I just thought I'm going to do an online shop. The online shopping kind of windows have opened up a bit more now. Um, and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to do an online delivery for, for Saturday from Sainsbury's. I went on, put everything in my basket, checked out. I noticed that this morning I didn't get the um, text message that you normally get that says, um, you know, your confirms your, your delivery slot. And I thought that was a bit odd. Went and looked at my order and I'd placed it for Tuesday. So <laughs> Tuesday afternoon we will get a Sainsbury's order. Um, however, I've left the order in but I've just gone in and taken out the stuff that I needed for Saturday, Sunday, Monday um, and just left the rest to be delivered. That meant I could do a quite a small grocery haul today, quite a small shop for the first day of everybody out and about with their masks on. Now I have to say I went into Aldi and Sainsbury's. The only people I saw without masks on were small children and the shop assistants who don't have to wear them. So everybody else had some kind of face covering on. So I was quite pleasantly surprised considering how people have behaved so far. Um, but the one thing I would say is it seems to make people think they can get closer to you because you've both got masks on. So there was a little bit more of people just coming right up into your space um, and kind of reaching across and getting really close when you were looking at things. Um, so there is a bit more of that and I think that the masks are giving people that kind of false sense of security when it comes to that. So I really only did Saturday, Sunday, Monday, half of Tuesday, so three and a half, half the week of shop and I spent £48. My delivery coming at the weekend on, on Tuesday is about £50 because I needed to keep it above 45 otherwise I would have taken, had to pay the higher delivery charge for it. So I've ended up spending more than budget this week um i did pick up a few extra bits today that i wouldn't have done if i was doing the full shop and there's a few treat things in the basket for tuesday's delivery as well so it's okay um it did mean that i could get around and get the shopping done a bit faster than usual today and as i say most people were quite well behaved other than getting a bit closer than they have been when we weren't wearing masks so anyway i will turn you around i'll show you what i picked up i'll show you the meal plan for the full week um, the Tuesday delivery is between half four and half five um, and so Tony will be home, I will be at work and so it just depends what time I get home whether I'm able to record the little kind of top-up shop if you like for the delivery but at least you'll see the meal plan for the full week um, and that will tie them back to our to our meals of the week video. So let's get going and see what we bought. So there is our very well spaced out small, well, still quite a lot, I mean I guess I have spaced it out quite well, so it's not crammed in like it usually is. So non-food items, I got a kid's um, body wash for the tub for Caleb. I still use the children's version for him. Um, he doesn't have sensitive skin, um, but we have to be a bit careful what we use on his skin. It, it can go kind of flaky and ashy quite, quite easily, so I try to use moisture-rich stuff and stuff without too many chemicals in it for him um so i picked up one of those another little bottle of hand soap just to keep keep that stocking up because now they don't do them with the pumps on we're kind of reusing our the bottles because the last bottles we had with pumps on weren't this brand and so they don't fit uh, so we have to keep just topping up the bottles so um, another one of those just while i thought about it my usual tv mag Drinks this week, I didn't get Caleb anything fizzy this week. I got him the still strawberry water and then Oasis is one of his favourite things to get if we get like a meal deal or if we stop at a convenience store and get a drink when we're travelling. Um, and they had a four pack of those in Sainsbury's so I grabbed one of those for him. I'm not sure if I mentioned, oh I did mention, I spent £48 in total. Um, variety pack of crisps, usual 50-50 bread, usual chop chip brioche rolls, some almond croissants, um, I think I've mentioned before anything almond is, is my absolute favourite and um, I did notice that when I did my online shop those little marzipan treats that I got myself for my birthday were on special offer this week and it flagged it to me because I had bought some recently 
and I put them in my basket and they were only a pound this week so I've got some of those coming on Tuesday but I have got almond croissant for um, I'll probably have one of those with a cup of tea when I get the shopping put away and then keep one for tomorrow um, some farfalle or bow tie pasta another little box of the savoury crackers that Tony likes chocolate wheaties and Chris Bryce for Caleb he finished what he had in cereals this morning he said he'd like to have chocolate wheaties or rice krispies um so i just grabbed a, as um aldi had their version of both in stock i grabbed one of each some of these fiber now bars i've seen a few people talking about these these are new and they are the aldi version of the fiber one bars they are slightly less calories about 10 calories less um, but I'm going to give them a go. I quite like the fibre ones with some like raspberries and strawberries on and a bit of Greek yoghurt as it feels like a really um, a kind of a treat to have that. So um, we'll give those a try. A pack of instant chicken noodles just as a lunch option for Caleb. Two packages of cookies and cream um, the Oreo style biscuits. Giant straws. Caleb hasn't had those for ages. So a bag of those this week. Some chicken gravy. Um, crunchy granola bars again Tony and Kayla both like the what they call the orchard harvest is that's what is that what the regular branded version is of these and um, we hadn't tried the um, Aldi version so I've picked up a box of those for them to try I've got Caleb a little pack of sushi to have for his lunch tomorrow he's already had lunch today but um, he asked if it was open if I could get him some um, a large semi-skimmed milk and an apple juice and a box of smoothies. I have got another box coming with my delivery, so I just grabbed one to see us through till then. Um, a bag of grated cheddar, uh, a bag of grated grana padano, some honey roast ham slices, two of the Greek style yogurts. I've still got some of the lemon ones in the fridge, so the hazelnut and the raspberry. Caleb asked for some picky bits for lunches this week, so I've got him some scotch eggs and some chicken poppers. He's still got some of the dip it, cheese dip um, pots in the fridge, and he's also got some of the little blocks of cheddar cheese. Um, so between that, he'll be able to put himself a plate together. Some grated mozzarella. Spotted these. Again, I've seen somebody try these on another channel, and I can't remember who it was. But they look so good. Anything meringue is, as I said, for my birthday treats, is a favourite for me. And these are Heritage Raspberry and Sicilian Lemon Roulade. So grab some of those instead of making anything desserty this week. I'm going to have those as my weekend desserts um, for my treat. And then they had the Aldi version of the mini cups. They don't often have these ones in ours. They have the kind of just vanilla and chocolate ones. But these are... A new combination and they've got strawberry cheesecake chewy caramel cookie dough and chocolate brownie and again I sometimes just fancy an ice cream after dinner or something different in the evening um, and you know if I buy a tub of ice cream it takes forever and by the time you go you know you've had a couple of scoops out by the time I then want some again it's got the ice crystals on it so I just thought those mini cups it's one and done and um, so I'll give those a try. Another new thing was the sherbet lollies. Caleb likes these kind of fruity, um, layered fruity lollies. And these ones are sherbety, so I imagine they're a bit sort of fizzy. So I've got those for him to try along with his normal cones. Got two packages of the breaded chicken goujons. Got a package of turkey mints and a large pack of pork shoulder steaks. Some white potatoes, a bag of carrots. Got two heads of broccoli because they are quite small. Herbs for Licky, he's got basil and dill, and a large cucumber, a bag of baby spinach, some mixed peppers, red gem lettuce, a little bag of three brown onions, um, and then fruit. So I've got pink lady apples for me, and more of the pink kids apples for Caleb. So um, Caleb decided he really liked these last week. I think I only had one out of the pack of six. So I bought the bigger ones for me. Um, and as I was doing a small shop, I didn't mind paying the little bit extra for my favorite apples. Um, wonky strawberries, wonky blueberries, and wonky raspberries. And actually these raspberries looked better than the not wonky raspberries um, today. They actually look really nice and fresh. So sometimes it's worth looking at those wonky packs because they are much cheaper. And often there's not much difference between the quality of fruit. They might just not quite be the right shape or something like that. But to be honest, those raspberries look 
like perfect raspberries to me. So not sure what the definition of wonky is. So on to the meal plan for the week. So tonight, a couple of weeks ago, we had our cheeky KFC, um, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And one of our subscribers from the US, Jennifer, she asked why we didn't have biscuits. Now, I agree that with a KFC meal, biscuits are one of the best parts, really fluffy buttermilk biscuits. But if I went to a KFC here in England and asked for a biscuit, I would get a cookie. So we just don't do biscuits. And people have said, aren't scones the same? They're not. They're nothing like it. So a proper buttermilk flaky biscuit, we don't have anything like that here in the UK. Now, you can work around it and make kind of a scone and do it that way, but it's not the same no matter what way you look at it. But that got us talking about things we missed from kind of takeaways back in the US. And, one, and another thing with KFC, a side dish that you often get in the US is mashed potatoes and gravy. Now, some of the KFCs here do mashed potatoes and gravy, but we've never found one that does. They always either don't have it on the menu or it's not in stock but one of my favorite things from KFC when I was in the States where they did these little bowls of mashed potato with crispy chicken on um, like popcorn chicken or little chicken bites with corn and the gravy poured over the top and some melted cheese and it was my favorite thing from KFC um, and so I've decided to try to recreate that tonight. I'm going to make a big pan of mashed potatoes. I'm going to use sour cream through the mashed potatoes so that they have a real American style flavor to them. Um, put those in the bottom of a casserole dish with that chicken goujons on top, some sweet corn, and make up some chicken gravy to pour over the top of that. And I'm going to have baked beans with mine and probably Tony will have beans as well. But I am so looking forward to this, so it better not disappoint me. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do braised pork shoulder with mash and veg. I was going to buy a big piece of pork shoulder, but they all they only had them with the um, the crackling layer on the outside. So by the time I messed around taking that off and cutting it up, that's why I bought the bag, the pack of shoulder steaks. So it's the meat without all the faffing around. I can just cut it into some chunks. And I'm going to braise that in kind of a red wine gravy um, and have that with mash and veg. Monday I'm going to get the crock pot out and make a bow tie pasta casserole so it's really a pasta bolognese but just done in the slow cooker. Tuesday we'll have regular pork chops with potatoes, broccoli and peas. Um, not quite sure what sort of potatoes yet so I've left that one open, perhaps some roasties. Wednesday a burrito casserole so I'm going to make a, um, a Mexican style mince um, mixture. And I'm going to use some corn tortillas and just layer that. So I did the Mexican style lasagna. This is much more of a, it's kind of all the flavors of a burrito, but layered into a casserole. So, but it's using corn tortillas um, in that. So I'm looking forward to that. Thursday night, I think we'll have some kind of a takeaway. Thursdays have started to be quite a late night for me for work. And by the time I get home, I just don't feel like cooking. Um, so I think we will have something takeaway on Thursday night. Might change our minds, but that's the plan at the moment. And then Friday, I'm going to do a chicken cordon bleu pasta, which is sort of chicken pieces and ham, thick sliced ham in a creamy, cheesy pasta sauce. So um, again, something a little bit different. So that's our plan for the week ahead. Thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and meal plan. And we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon.